<clears throat> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm about another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in the area description box. Take a moment to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. If you like my channel, find my channel useful. Take a moment to subscribe and turn on post bell notifications. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. Today I'm about another video. I'm about with uh share my thoughts on Thomas Matthew Crooks identified as the gunman at Donald Trump's rally. Thomas Matthew Crooks identified as the gunman at Donald Trump's rally. Now I want to read this article. This article caught me by surprise, and um, it's something important that was mentioned in the article that no one is talking about and I want to share my thoughts on it. But first I want to read an article that when everyone can follow and know what I found out. And it says here, <clears throat> the, the Trump rally shooter was identified as 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Images released by TMZ show the shooter as a fairly young boy who wore glasses. According to CNN, he was shot and killed by Secret Service within seconds of firing shots into the Trump rally. Let me read that one more time. According to CNN, he was shot and killed by Secret Service within seconds of firing shots into the Trump rally. Now, that's the part that, got, that, that, that leads to a lot of questions first. He was shot, by, shot and killed by Secret Service within seconds of firing shots into the Trump rally. How in the hell did they find him within seconds and who shoot the shot? Boom, 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 boom. Turn around, boom, boom, secret search, kill him. Shoot, shoot and kill him that fast. That means they already knew where he was. You might can look in the area that you hear the gunshots coming from, or you may hear, you may assume you, the shots came from, and they could come from another whole other area, and yet they did to find him within seconds and kill him. I find that questionable. That need to be questioned. That leads to a lot of questions. Was he already there? Um, was he already in place? How, did they already acknowledge him? What? That leads to a lot of questions because they, come on now. They find him within seconds of him firing his shots. Right after he's fired his shots, they found him and killed him that quick. That's the reason I say it was staged. That's my reason for saying it was staged. I don't believe they I don't believe they should have found him that fast. You know what I mean? I don't believe they found him. I don't believe it was a coincidence that they found him that fast. They they knew where he was the whole time and let it go through. And that's how they was able to know where he was that fast. There's no possible way you find him that fast and killed him. In my, that's just my opinion. Crooks was registered as a Republican, but once donated $15 to a Democratic Political Action Committee, according to TMZ. He graduated high school just two years ago. So that means he was, what, 20 years old? That's crazy. 20 years old and already gone. Now, he was a Republican and donated $15 to a Democrat Political Action Committee. According to TMZ, that's crazy. Long so you 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 part of one one committee and you donate to the other political committee. I find that weird, but you know people do what they do for a reason. Whatever his reason was, I hope it was justifiable with him. And this the part of the article that gets me. I want y'all to see this for yourself. I'm gonna leave it on screen. Before the shooting took place, Secret Service was made aware of the shooter as local authorities reported that he was outside of the event acting suspicious. An announcement was also made through law enforcement radios asking for officers to keep an eye on him. The FBI is still attempting to determine the shooter's motive. This is the part that is troubling. This is the part that put all of this together for me right here. This is the part that answers all my questions. Let me read it one more again. Before the shooting took place, Secret Service was made aware of the shooter as local authorities reported that he was outside of the event acting suspicious. Acting suspicious. 
an announcement was also made through law enforcement radios asking for officers to keep an eye on him. The FBI is still attempting to determine the shooter's motives. Some way around the Trump rally, acting suspicious, and all you as law enforcement do to keep an eye on him. You know why that happened? Nothing racist because he's white. Because he's white. When they hear someone in an area acting suspicious, America is usually used to hearing a black African American person being suspect acting suspicious. Not a white person acting suspicious. That's why I believe it wasn't taken serious. Because they know majority of the time when you hear someone acting suspicious outside a major important area, it's always a black person. It's never no other race. It's always a black person. I believe that's why it wasn't taken as serious as it should have been taken. You know? So with that being said, that tells me all this could have been avoided. Instead of just watching him, Secret Service and, and local law enforcement should have went up to him and seen what was what. Just in my opinion. Just like they do in a black person. I know I remember when I was a child, I was hanging outside my job one night um, after work. I, when I worked at Winnie's in Florida, I was hanging outside the job. And um, it was 3 in the morning, waiting on a girlfriend to come pick me up. And she ended up playing with me, not coming to get me. And the police watched, stood across the street, sat in their car, watched me. I'm like, okay. I didn't think nothing of it. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. And then within time, they came up asking questions because I was a minor out 3 o'clock in the morning by myself in a popular area where everyone's home in the bed, where there's no traffic in this area. Led to a bunch of questioning. They taking me down to, they taking me to meet my mom while my mom came and got me. They stayed there with me till my mom came and got me. This particular situation has been handled the same way. This is an important rally, an important rally. And here's a white male in the area acting suspicious and all you do is notify Secret Service to keep an eye on him. And now you keeping an eye on him led to Donald Trump getting brazed in the ear. Because he didn't get shot in the ear. He got brazed in the ear. Something, the bullet probably hit something and that cut his ear. Another male got killed protecting his family. Two others was injured. This in the hospital. It led to four people getting shot. Four people getting shot and two getting killed. All because Secret Service did not properly do their job. Instead of keeping the eye on this 20-year-old, you should have been out there questioning him, running his name, seeing what's in his bag, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In my opinion. So I feel like Secret Service should be in trouble. The blame is on the Secret Service as well for Donald Trump against getting brazed in the ear. For that, that firefighter that was killed, protecting his family, and the other two that was injured, yeah. The blame is on Secret Service as well. The blame is on Secret Service as well because they should have took further action other than keeping an eye on this individual. That explains how Secret Service was able to find him so easily and neutralize him because they already knew where he was and the only the left was to kill him. After he fired them shots, the only the left was to kill him. You know what I mean? You guys were keeping an eye on him, and it's clear that you wasn't keeping an eye on him, because if he was, how did he have time to pull out a rifle and fire out shots? If you get if Secret Service was keeping an eye on them as the article on him, as the article says, there's no way. That's why I say this article, this whole situation leads to a lot of questions. You know? Because all this could have been avoided. If Secret Service would have stopped them and questioned him and check and search his search his belongings. And found that rifle, none of this would have happened. But due to secret, due to secret service not doing their job, this is the result. That's why I say a lot of the blame is also on secret service. All of this should be fired, questioned, and investigated. Why did you allow this to happen? Why didn't you do more than just keep an eye on him? Like any other suspect, if that was a black male, we all know what that happened. If that was a black male, he would not have made it to the rooftop. You'd have been stopped, surrounded by a million police officers like he just robbed a bank. And named that question after he got in the police car. They would have questioned him and searched his belongings 
after they handcuff him and put him in a police car if he was a black male. But since America not used to hearing a white male acting suspicious, that's why it wasn't taken so serious. That's why they was able. That's why he was able to make it so far. Pull out, make it to the rooftop. Pull out a rifle, get in position, and fire them shots because he was a white male. That's that's not usual hearing a white male in the area acting suspicious. And this is just my thought. This is just my opinion, my views that I'm sharing with you guys. You know, for a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in August. Tell me in the comments how you feel about it. Tell me in the comments how you feel about this situation. Do you feel it was a setup? Do you feel it was planned? Do you feel that Secret Service ain't on it? Do you feel that Secret Service did their job to the fullest? Do you feel that Secret Service did more? Whatever your thoughts on it, let me know in the comments. I give you a shout out. My shout out video the last Sunday in August. If you like my thoughts on this situation, take a moment to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. I do leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take a moment to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist out.